guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a huge, exciting announcement to share, and that is my book is coming out. So if you didn't know, I wrote a book. It's been three years in the making. It's called Expecting Jewish. And as of right now, let me zoom in so you guys can see. It is available for pre-order um, from my publisher, from Amazon. I'll put all the links below. But I am so excited to have reached this moment. This is a huge shahakianu for me. I've been writing, editing, getting ready for publishing of this book, like I said, for three years or more. <laughs> so I wanted to share all the excitement with you guys. I'm gonna tell you everything that's in the book, why it's so special to me, why I wrote the book, and a little bit about the publishing journey. If anyone's interested in that, let me know. I might do a whole like separate video or maybe an IGTV about it because that's a whole separate topic. But I want to talk to you guys about what Expecting Jewish is and who might be interested in reading it. I hope someone out there, maybe one of you guys is, um, but first let me just share the cover because this is the first time I've seen it uh, in person in my hand. Um, a woman named Laura is the cover artist. I'll put her Instagram down below. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so let me share with you guys what this book is. So it's called Expecting Jewish, and the tagline is A Millennial Mom's Practical Guide to How Judaism Can Be a Blessing to New Moms and Moms to Be. So this is kind of like the uh, what to expect when you're expecting book, but for all things Jewish. So everything Jewish that goes into a baby making. <laughs> all nine months of pregnancy, as well as those first few weeks and months of life for your newborn. Also in this book, I did not shy away from anything controversial, anything sensitive. It is a very welcoming and inclusive book. In this book, I cover conversion, adoption, interfaith families, and I also have a whole big chapter, it might even be the biggest one, on infertility and pregnancy loss and early infant loss. I really wanted to cover those topics from a Jewish lens because it gets into why I wrote this book. So I wanted to start there. Why did I write this book? So right about when I started my YouTube channel is when I started writing this book. They kind of happened at the same time. This one just took a heck of a lot longer to finally make it into the world. When I got pregnant for the first time, we had a late loss of that pregnancy and I really struggled emotionally and spiritually with that. And at that time, I reached out to rabbis, multiple. <laughs> I read every book. I tried everything to heal from that. And and there was a lot of resources out there, but they were very scattered. There wasn't like one easy place to go and it wasn't easy to find like, what am I supposed to do exactly to help myself at that time? So I had done so much personal research at that time in my life and gathered so many resources, so much information. I started just collecting it. And then every time a friend or a friend of a friend experienced something similar, I would be connected to them. They'd be like, let me reach out. let me connect you to Marion. She knows how to help. And I was basically sending the same version of this super long email to all these people. And I was like, let me write this down in like a more of a collated fashion. And that's how the idea started. Then when I started my YouTube channel, which started because when my first son was born, I was looking for videos about what to do for a bris, for hosting a bris, because I had never been to one. Actually, that's not true. I had been to my nephews, but I was like not in the zone of how to host. <laughs> um, so I had no idea like, how to invite people because you're not really supposed to invite people. There were so many little details and I had been watching so many YouTube videos about preparing for like what to pack for my hospital bag, how to design the nursery. And I realized there was no Jewish YouTubers like me who are making the type of content for Jewish stuff. So <laughs> all those little things came together and I started writing this book so that there was a resource for all nine months of pregnancy and before and beyond about how Judaism, and this is the key, can be a blessing, not a burden, but how can it help during those nine months? Whether there's struggles at the beginning or you're looking for, to add something spiritual along the way, there are so, there is so much rich, rich detail in the Jewish religion related to pregnancy and birth and the woman's experience in this, but it's not written down. 
Here's kind of an interesting historical fact about the Jewish religion. <laughs> For many, many thousands of years, things weren't written down. Then they were, but they were written down by male rabbis. So a lot of the female aspects of the religions, which again was so rich, so beautiful, so spiritual, was not codified, was not written down in the same way. Eventually it was, and then it was lost again. So there's a bit of this historical aspect of why books like this don't really exist, but this is also a way more updated and modern version. And that's the key, a millennial mom. It's someone just like me, just like you probably who's watching, practical things that you might wanna do. So let's jump in. Let me share with you guys the table of contents and some of the highlights of the book so you know what to expect when you look into Exacting Jewish. So one of the things I have right at the beginning of the book, let's see if my camera will show you guys, is a pregnancy checklist. Cause I really have this book written, sorry about all the camera jumping. <laughs> I have this book written in a month by month, trimester by trimester format, kind of like what to expect when you're expecting is, so that you don't have to like read the whole book on day one. By the way, this is not the final version of the book if you're wondering why <laughs> the cover is like blank at the back. Um, so it takes you along the way. So as you're experiencing the trimesters of pregnancy, you can go along and see what you can also add Jewish wise to that experience. So let me give you some highlights of what you can expect. First up, sacred kosher sex. <laughs> By the way, I think I'm gonna make a whole video on that as well to highlight in the book. Um, second chapter, pregnancy loss and pregnancy termination. Infertility, chap next, I'm just gonna read them, but they're all a chapter. <laughs> Nurturing the mama, morning sickness and exhaustion. Genetic testing and finding out the gender. Besha'a tova, sharing the news and a note on superstition. Genetic testing, oh, <laughs> preparing for motherhood what to expect from everyone else, Jewish baby names and Jewish Hebrew names and how to choose one, having faith in an interfaith family, planning a bris or baby naming, having a spiritual birth plan, healing, finding the new you and postpartum health, breastfeeding, bottle feeding, what's kosher and first foods, what's a Jewish nursery, and other Jewish baby ideas, Jewish adoption, welcoming all children into our home, conversion, and random advice and funny stories. And actually that brings me to one of the elements of the book that I am probably most excited for, which is that even though I wrote every word of this book all by myself with help from an editor, I interviewed so so many people for this book. I interviewed rabbis. I interviewed famous Jewish leaders in the community. I interviewed real Jewish moms really living that everyday Jewish life. And all of their advice and thoughts and wisdom is in this book. And that's probably the most exciting to me is how much of a collaborative effort on the part of pulling those thoughts and ideas into this book went into this. This is not just me telling you how it is. This is thoughts and ideas from so many smart, amazing people. In the description below, I will list everyone who participated in the book. Not every um, real mom because those ones are anonymous, but rabbis, thought leaders, social media influencers, all types of folks like that. And there's also a lot of Torah in here, a lot of learning, but so much just everyday wonderful things like how to really think about what preparing for motherhood entails. And that is the one section of the book I wanted to read to you guys today. So I'm actually gonna read, okay, I'm gonna read two sections. I'm gonna read the introduction, just a little bit of it, and a little bit of what makes a Jewish good Jewish mother. So you guys get a little sense of how I talk in the book. Not all of the book is just me talking talk talking at you like I said there's a lot of facts there's there's a lot of quick checklists that kind of fun stuff but I wanted to share a little bit of some of the most special parts to me okay so this is a little bit of the introduction and about why I wrote this book even a woman who is fairly religious and participates in Jewish life and the Jewish community will not experience a formal connection between Judaism and pregnancy until she gives birth I began researching this because it just didn't make sense to me that such a crucial and fruitful nine months of a woman's life could be so barren of spiritual connection. I always thought that Judaism would have a ton to say about pregnancy, as it generally does about almost everything else. 
And just as there are hundreds of different strollers I didn't yet know about, I assumed I would learn about the hundreds of things I needed to know about Judaism and pregnancy in the same way. I was confused and frustrated to learn that there wasn't a wealth of information easily available. That's why I wrote Expecting Jewish, to highlight how rich this tradition can be when it comes to pregnancy. From conception to birth, this book is a how-to guide that focuses on preparing for motherhood from a Jewish perspective. It covers everything from the practicalities of planning a bris to the mysticism of the mikvah. This book shares an unfiltered perspective on what to really expect during this stage of life, with advice from real moms who have lived through it, interviews from rabbis and social media game changers in the Jewish community also offer insight on what's trending and what's changing for Jewish women today. Okay, and if you're still here, let me read you guys my one of my favorite paragraphs in the book, which is, what makes a good Jewish mother? Preparing for motherhood is one thing, but how do you prepare to be a good Jewish mom? Motherhood from a Jewish perspective isn't just about mastering a chicken noodle soup recipe, although that's not a bad idea. It's about being prepared spiritually for what taking on this new role in life will mean. In Jewish tradition, it is the mother who protects and sustains religion. She passes her faith along physically. Judaism is a matrilineal religion and spiritually, as it's her job to nurture a love of Judaism within her home and children. So that's just one little section of the book that I love, and I obviously love sharing about this book because it has, like I said, been three years in the making. I've poured my heart and soul into it. I want to really thank my publisher, Ben Yehuda Press, who believed in me and this idea from day one. I just pulled up the query letter, is what it's called when you send an idea for a nonfiction book out, and you have to have some chapters written and all this stuff. But anyways, I looked back at the letter and it said, I have a YouTube channel and I'm almost had a thousand subscribers so i sent this i was so passionate i believe in this idea so much this is not a book that was in any way given to me because of my youtube platform um so it just is amazing to me that someone believed in this from day one um and i've just been working away at it ever since so thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll be sharing so much more content about judaism and pregnancy coming up this book is available for pre-order right now from my publisher and from Amazon. It's coming out on March 23rd. That, so if you pre-order now, you'll be the first to get your books and you'll get it that day. So thank you so much for watching this video and being here for this journey. I'm gonna be, like I said, making videos about Judaism and pregnancy, everything from kosher sex, mikvahs, brisses, all that kind of fun stuff leading up to the launch of the book. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Thank you so much for watching this and for supporting me on this journey. I really appreciate it. Hope you're all having a very happy new year and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!